Welcome back to the Gun Geek channel. This episode I will be covering the cleaning or the detail cleaning of a pistol barrel. To keep this video short I've already disassembled my Glock 22 and removed the barrel. There are many tools that you can use to clean as most of you already know. The ones that I prefer are the polymer type because they're less likely to scratch your barrel. This is actually the brush that came with the Glock and it is polymer and it has a removable brush and it also has a slot to put your patches on. I also bought some of these polymer type picks. They're plastic, they're bendable and they're good to pick dirt out of hard to reach areas such as behind your extractor or inside the lip of your chamber. Inside. One of the first things that you want to do is get some solvent inside the barrel so it can start working some of the copper and lead fouling loose through chemical reaction. So we'll go ahead and put our patch on there. Let's put it through. I'm going to go ahead and dip it into some hops. And this is really going to be wet. You know, this is going to be soaked. Alright. As you can see, that's uh, soaked up pretty good. And what you want to do is run it through. And the best thing to do is to go in through the chamber because you don't want to risk scratching the crown or the muzzle end of your barrel because that's the last thing the bullet touches as it's leaving your barrel and if you put a nick in there every shot that you you make is going to uh, be affected after. Now one of the things I do is as I push it through I get it about halfway through give it a twist so it sort of bunches up on the end and then pull it back. What that does is it tightens it up and you can hear that squeak as it's coming back. That really gives you a nice tight fit. I'm also sort of turning it as I'm going through a little bit back and forth. And again, let it bunch up so it gets it nice and tight. Because that tighter you get the fit, the, the harder it's going to rub against the edges there. Okay, it's been sitting a couple of minutes, allowing the, in this case, hops number 9 solvent to work on some of the fouling left inside. Is I'm going to grab the brush. In this case, I only, I'm only using a nylon brush. I'm only going to use um, the least amount of harsh abrasive. Abrace Again, I'm going to go in through the chamber. And I'm going to punch that in there come all the way out and come back in especially if it's a brass brush if this is if this were a brass brush you don't want to go halfway into your barrel and change directions because what that's going to do is it's gonna as you change direction you're gonna make the bristles sort of push out and if they're pushing out inside your barrel they're gonna cause you know indentations or scratch your barrel that it's gonna push dirt into the rifling so you don't want to change direction of your bore brush in the middle uh, of going in or, in or out. So what I'm doing now is just running the brush back and forth loosening up any residue in there. The next thing I want to do is I want to get a pick sort of a polymer soft tip and go inside the chamber and run it along the edge, the lip at the edge of the chamber right before the rifling starts and knock out any dirt or loosen any dirt along the edge in there and we'll go ahead and, and give you a close-up of that. Here's a view inside the Glock 22's barrel. This is from the chamber toward the muzzle and what this allows me to do is show you this edge, this lip, all the way around the front of the chamber and that lip can gather dirt. One of the best ways to ensure that that is clean is to use some sort of polymer tipped or polymer tool or pick such as this one to just go ahead and 
rub along there because when you have the brush and your cleaning wads going back and forth sometimes they could pack or push dirt into this lip and not necessarily get it out of there so now that the solvent has enough had enough time to loosen and, and free up any dirt I'm gonna go ahead and take a clean patch and run it through again and again twist it pull it back so you can go ahead and get this nice and tight now this is only one method of cleaning a barrel but it's the one that I prefer so what's left to do well we got everything clean or at least we got the outside or the inside clean go ahead and using some solvent if needed go ahead and just run it through make sure you get into the lug area really good now I've got close attention to your feed ramp making sure that that is pristine clean which it already is in this case if you need to use a brush again maybe start with something like a nylon brush or a toothbrush in this area and just use you know mild solvent yeah. now I like to finish up the the inside of the barrel with something like Otis um, ultra bore it comes with a lot of their kits and again it what it does is it lubricates but it prevents rust penetrates and it preserves there are many other um, items that will do that however I do want to point out that I do really like Mil Militech but it doesn't say anything about preserving it's a, but I'm gonna go ahead and just put a drop or two here and you don't want to soak <laughs> your barrel because you don't want to be shooting with a silk barrel. All you want to do is to get some sort of preservative in there. And you know, it never ceases to amaze me when I run this Otis stuff through here that even after cleaning it with everything else, it, it continues to get some more dirt out. That's amazing. This thing has been cleaned about three times already and it's still amazing so we got the we got uh, something in there preserving and on the outside you want to put something that lubricates and preserves so today in honor of Pete I'm going to use one of his favorite products some ballastol I'm going to go ahead and take a patch and get some ballastol on there and then lightly coat everything and ballastol probably smells better than most of your normal oils and preservants I think uh, Mrs. Dungy came in here once after spraying this stuff and she was asking what smells like roses. <laughs> so it, it has a good smell to it. Again, pay, pay, uh, pay, pay close attention to getting around your lug because that's where a lot of rubbing between metal parts happens and also right here at the top of your chamber where it locks into the slide right there you have metal parts rubbing and on the top and also right here this is where it's going to rub your slide now, again you're not really putting a huge amount on there you're just putting a light coat to prevent rust and to keep things moving smoothly. So there you go. There's how Gungi takes care of his pistol barrel. Gungi being me. I hate talking about myself as third party. That's kind of geeky.